I am very pleased to be a part of this gift program. This summer experience enriches my teaching skills in implementing science and engineering practices in the classroom. This summer I am working in Dr. Roman's lab at Georgia Tech. My goal is to develop teaching modules by using physics principles that involved in their research lab. The real program is an amazing program designed to help students like me. It's, it's developed your character, your academic career, so many platforms. I've been exposed to several concepts that I've learned about but never really seen in person so it's a very hands-on experience that I have enjoyed. I've always known that I wanted to come to Georgia Tech and so when Ms. Raj, my teacher, gave me the opportunity to come here, it really helped expose me to the campus life. Being able to put, to utilize the hands-on experiences here, uh, we've learned about several instances and phenomena that they're studying here. So being able to apply what I've learned in high school and, uh, along with what they're studying has it's really opened my eyes to the field of physics and science in general. Rajni and uh, Kishan were trying to understand some of the core concepts that we employ in our research on atomic, molecular, and optical physics. So we have an experimental research lab and uh, we explore the fundamental properties of atoms using lasers and light and one of the key things that they looked at was uh, the Doppler effect and how the uh, frequency of laser light is shifted uh, it, depending on whether the atoms are moving or not. Now they did, a, um, they did an experiment with an analogous system in which there were, the light was replaced with sound waves and they used an electronic detector to try to measure the frequency of the, of the sound waves and see that it was shifted depending on the motion of the source. And this is a very close parallel with our experiment and something that could be uh, easily translated into a classroom setting uh, in the K-12 uh, arena. Mr. Campbell worked on interviewing recent uh, onboarded employees. He looked at our processes, kind of looked at what was available, and really has been giving us a, a lot of good information for the future and how we can improve that process. This is the equivalent of taking a college class or because I've learned so much by working here professionally that I can apply in my own professional life. I mean, I've talked to general managers like day to day. I've talked to managers day to day. Something that you would never get to do as a teacher. You know, we're meeting people on the level of the superintendent at our school system and being able to have a conversation and actually listen to our input and actually take our input. So. That's why I gained from the experience, uh, more confidence, uh, being a better professional, and I would suggest this for anybody that could take advantage of the opportunity, take it. It doesn't matter what place you go to, uh, this will be a good way to, you know, enhance you and have a better summer for yourself. One thing that was really consistent with everyone, um, and it's their motto here, it's, it's Go Anzani, which is safety first and uh, they live it, they breathe it, and they practice it every day. And so one of the um, things that I wrote about in my lesson plan is about safety first. Young people and young workers need to know when they go into the workplace um, all about safety. And I added it, um, and the component that I add was the video aspect to it. So in my lesson plans, um, I have students looking at um, the OSHA website and looking at you know, their safety and what they need to do um, as young workers when they go into the workforce. And the project is going to be a fun project where they're going to kind of create um, a video process on some uh, safety practice. So my job was to go around and take, um, you know, photos and digital uh, videos of processes, the various processes in their uh, production areas, and to kind of um, collaborate and put together a video for them. So when a visitor comes in, they can at least look at the video, watch the video, and see how something is produced or how that process is done.
And she really dove in right on the shop floor to understand the process and got engaged with all the employees and has really been able to tell us from her perspective what would give a great experience to our visitors and especially to our customers. I think the way the gift program has really helped my program is that um, it gives my students and myself an outlet to sort of reach back to the community. I mean, all of us, everyone in my lab, myself included, were middle school and high school students once, and we all liked science. Um, and so I think we're all interested in, in sort of going back and, and interfacing with teachers and, and trying to help get back into that classroom and inspire other uh, students today. So we study bioluminescent bacteria, and we study a bioluminescent bacterium called Vibrio fischeri that enters into partnerships with higher organisms, so fish and squid. And these animals have organs that emit bioluminescence, but it's really the bacteria that are emitting the bioluminescence for the animal. And we study the interaction between the two partners and also how the bacteria uh, decide when to turn on their bioluminescence. As a teacher, I would say I think that this has made me grow leaps and bounds. Uh, the knowledge that I've acquired this summer through working with UGA is current knowledge. Uh, I currently have been teaching science now for at least 15 years, so I know uh, the books that we have are the same books that when I first started out. So the books and the material hasn't changed, so <laughs> it's good to be here because I can kind of see what's on the cutting edge of science and bring my kids a fresh perspective. So this really helps me to kind of bring a light for the students, what kind of things they need to know if they do decide to go in the field of science. And then it helps me also because I can expose the students to people like Dr. Stab and Corrales who've agreed to come out during the school year when I teach this unit and to facilitate it with me. So it helps so much because I, I know and I, I truly believe that you can't be what you can't see. I don't think kids even consider a career in science except a doctor or something like or a dentist. So to know that there are people who have full-time careers in microbiology and that this is a doable thing and that if that's something you're interested in you can do it, I think that exposure is priceless. Um, the song Just Another School Day is a song that we play on the morning announcements every day so the kids they learned it. It was a lyrics video so they really learned it. So when we got to the video they just wanted to show their personalities and dance. But just to get the kids, you know, in the spirit of school. Like, yeah, we have 180 days, but we have 180 days here together. Shannon is an extremely enthusiastic teacher from Kemp Elementary. Um, he is a music teacher and really took advantage of studying the technology over this professional development experience to see how it can be brought into his music classroom. He engaged himself with ear sketch and learning how to code to create music. Um, he also engaged himself with creating um, musical instruments um, from different technologies and was really interested in this intersection of computer science, technology, and engineering that can be brought into his elementary music classroom. Oh, how art fits in the scene for me is a chance for me to use some of my other knowledges just besides music that way I get to get into a little bit more technical theater I get to get into some visual arts and I get to blend that with science technology engineering and mathematics a lot of things like as a musician I'm really good at math but it's something that's kind of foreign because of how it's written but um, I'm able to now show artistic expression through like how things are built because with me steam is always been like art because the finished product is the art to me so even if you make like a wall clock how does it look at the end what's the aesthetic to me that's the art